Hello and welcome, my name is Daisy. In today's video, I will show you how to use the different types of DTF powder. I will be using the Yamation DTF powder kit. That one comes with four different types of DTF powder. White fine, white medium, black medium, and white coarse. I will show you for what colors and what types of fabric you can use the different types of DTF powder. And for this project, you will need a DTF printer. I will be using my Procolored DTF printer. DTF film. I will be using Yamation DTF film in letter size and A3 size. DTF powder. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I will be using the Yamation DTF powder kit. I will link all the supplies used in this tutorial in the description below. Also, you will need a heat press. I will be using my HTV Round Auto Heat Press. And I will start working with the design, but before, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, and by pressing the notification bell. I will print the designs from the ProRit program. First, I'm going to insert the design. Click on this icon, open the folder where you have your design, select it, and open it. Now here, we can resize the image. To resize it, let's go to the bar below and there we can input the measurements. After changing the measurement, we're going to flip the image. It's very important to print our images in mirror mode. Let's use this icon to flip the image. Now let's go to the bar on the right. The first group of letters are for the colors. The second and third group are for the white. For these ones, we're going to change the settings to 100% white under any colored pixel. We're going to do the same for both whites. Now we're going to print it. Click on RIP. And here we're going to select 1440 by 1440 pixels. Next, we're going to select automatic print after rip. To print my designs, I'm going to be using my Procolored DTF printer and the Yamation DTF transfer film. I will be using the letter size for the smaller designs and the A3 size for the bigger designs. This DTF printer prints in color and also in white. Remember to check the description below, since there I'm going to link all of the equipment and supplies used in this tutorial. The first printing is ready. Now I will go ahead and add the DTF powder to the first design. I will start with the fine DTF powder. The fine DTF powder can be used for fine patterns, soft fabrics, and for soft printed images. I will use this image to customize a soft cotton baby onesie. Be generous while adding the powder. The leftover powder can be reused for future designs. This one is ready to be cured, but I will set it aside while I add the medium powder to the second design. The medium DTF powder can be used for all types of fabric. I'm going to use this design to customize a soft cotton cosmetic bag. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the white coarse DTF powder can be used for large mesh patterns. For example, I'm going to use this design to customize a canvas tote bag. And now we're going for the last one, the black medium DTF powder. And the black medium DTF powder can be used to customize large mesh fabrics in dark colors. I will be customizing two tote bags, a black one and a striped design tote bag. Now that they are ready, we're going to move to the next step. I'm going to cure the designs. For that, I will be using my Procolored DTF oven. I'm going to bake them for 200 seconds at 120 degrees Celsius. If you do not own a DTF oven, you may use a heat press. If you use a heat press, remember not to press the printing. Just place the printing with the powder under the heat until it melts for one to two minutes approximately. These ones are ready. I'm going to let them cool down and then I'm going to go ahead and transfer them to the fabric. For this process we're going to need a heat press machine. I am using my HTV round auto heat press machine. I will press this design with the fine DTF powder onto a baby onesie. This is a cotton baby onesie. In the description below, I'm going to link all of these beautiful designs that I am using for this tutorial. Most of these designs are from Creative Fabrica. Now we're going to press at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And here is the design already pressed. Let it cool down and then remove the transparent film. It's so cute. I so love this baby onesie. The design feels very soft on the fabric and it's also stretchy. The colors are beautiful. Again, for this design, I use the white fine DTF powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the next designs using the same time and temperature. For this design, I used the white medium DTF powder. The medium DTF powder can be used for all types of fabric. Let's reveal the design. It looks beautiful. The advantage of the medium DTF powder is that we can use it for all types of fabric. Now for this design, I use the white coarse DTF powder. This DTF powder can be used for large mesh patterns, such as canvas or denim. The design looks beautiful on the tote bag. It feels soft and the colors are very vivid and bright. I love how this one turned out. Now I will transfer the design with the black medium powder. And let's see how it looks. It looks beautiful. Look at the colors, very vivid and bright. And it feels soft too. Now I will customize this striped design tote bag. I'm going to use two designs. One using white medium DTF powder and the other one using black medium DTF powder. So you can see the difference. I'm going to press the design that has the white powder first.
and here is the first design already pressed on the tote bag the design looks beautiful the only thing is that i don't know if you can see it on the video but you can see the stripes through the fabric i'm going to go ahead and press the design that has the black powder let's reveal the design look at this one you can see the big difference you cannot see the stripes through the design the black medium dtf powder is perfect to customize dark cloth or designed fabric and here are the beautiful items already customized using the four types of dtf powder that come in the emation dtf powder kit i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing liking commenting and by pressing the notification bell thank you for your visit and i'll see you in my next tutorial Thank you.